The news blooper niche here on YouTube has proven itself to be quite a successful one. Here on the website now for over a decade, news blooper outtake compilations have been uploaded to the site with many of them garnering millions upon millions of views. Today at the show, uh, ah! It's clear that there's a pretty big audience for this kind of stuff on YouTube. If you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know that diving into the backstory behind these viral news blooper outtakes is nothing new here. We've talked about the Alabama leprechaun incident, Kai the hatchet wielding hitchhiker, and Charles Ramsey, but I've come to realize that I've neglected probably the most important viral news blooper clip of all time. A clip that if you really look at the whole genre from a macro scale, it serves as a benchmark for the beginning of the entire genre. So what news blooper clip am I referring to? Did you hear that? Listen, it's the grape lady. If you were a YouTube user in the earlier years of the website's history, you most likely organically stumbled across the agonizing howl of the grape lady here on the website. And hell, if you weren't an active user, you were probably forced to watch it by one of your more internet savvy friends. Today, we're gonna take a closer look at the infamous grape lady video and talk about the story behind it and what happened after she fell. Before we get rolling, I wanna let you guys know this video is sponsored by the folks over at The Ridge. More about their wallets at the end of the video. So let's start telling this story. Contrary to popular belief, the Grape Lady footage is actually much older than its upload date in 2006 on YouTube would have you believe. The original clip was recorded in the summer of 1998. The Grape Lady Fox 5 news footage was captured in the summer of 1998 at Chateau Ilan Winery Resort in Atlanta, Georgia. Fox 5 reporter Melissa Sander and cameraman Gus Valdez were sent to the winery for a promotional piece to hype up the winery's grape stomping competition, which was happening during the coming weekend. During Melissa Sanders' visit to Chateau Elan, a staff member invited her to participate in a grape stomping live on air in order to showcase to viewers what they could expect if they did decide to show up for that wine stomping event that was gonna occur during the weekend. So both Sander and the winery staff member hop onto the several foot high platform and get inside the buckets which are filled with grapes and well the rest is internet history eating international foods having wine tours and tasting vineyard tours seminars arts and crafts it's a lot of fun a whole day stop oh 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 Oh, no. Oh, oh, boy. oh dear. I think she's actually hurt. No, there. I think she is. Yeah, she's Ouch. hurt. She took a hard fall off there. Boy. Okay. Gosh, I hope she's okay. Okay. Mm. We're going to make sure she is. We'll try and check on her and get back right. to you as soon as we can. We'll be back mm. right after this. Gee. That, that scream just never leaves your brain, I'm telling you. So this clip of news reporter Melissa Sander falling off of this platform has become internet legend at this point, but you gotta remember that this happened in 1998. It wasn't recognized on YouTube until something like eight years after its original airing on TV. In the time frame shortly after this fall, Melissa Sander actually did have to go to the hospital for rib injuries, but none of these were permanent. While she may not have suffered any permanent physical damage, surely there was some mental trauma lingering around there that she would be going through for several years down the road, because I would imagine it had to be pretty embarrassing. So let's talk a bit about what was going on with Melissa Sander in between the time of 1998, the original fall, and 2006, the day where she became the Grape Lady. Melissa Sander would end up leaving the Fox 5 Atlanta news station, and it's unknown for what reason why she left. We don't know if this was related to her episode of falling off of that platform or not. Her next gig would be working as a weather reporter at WTE in Albany, a news station which was based in Albany, New York. So the short and sweet is she moved from Georgia to New York and was a weather reporter. For the next several years, she continued to make a solid living working for local news networks 
us across the country, but the trail of specifics about exactly what news stations or what state she was living in falls off at around 2004. Despite this, it seems as though her blunder back in 1998 hadn't hindered her getting any new jobs at local news stations. And honestly, it would be difficult for that clip to even get out and ruin her career without YouTube or any popular video sharing platform being available online. Remember this thing being filmed in 98, what are people gonna email the clip to each other? The day that Melissa Sander fell from that platform was probably just a running joke around the Fox 5 office or perhaps it was sitting on some guy's DVR at home, but in this time before YouTube, there was really no way for this clip to go viral. But when YouTube came around, that changed everything. Because on August 14th of 2006, somebody had acquired the footage of Melissa Sander falling at the winery and uploaded the recording to an unremarkable YouTube channel named Drew Lacrosse 17. The clip would go on to become one of the first viral YouTube news bloopers in existence. Going into the clip for the first time, you gotta remember that people have no idea what this woman's name is who's falling in the clip, because it's not explicitly stated anywhere in the footage what her name is. So as this clip goes viral in 2006 and 2007, people aren't calling this lady Melissa Sander, they come up with a nickname for the anonymous falling lady, and that nickname being The Grape Lady. And I remember vividly myself being in high school back in like 2007, someone telling me to go on YouTube and type in The Grape Lady. The Grape Lady had become a name brand meme before we were even calling stuff like this memes. It was even recreated in a 2008 Family Guy episode, this episode titled Tales of a Third Grade Nothing. Chateau with international foods and wine tasting. Stop! Uh-huh! Oh! Oh! To this day, several versions of the Grape Lady video exist on YouTube, and between the three most popular videos, it's got over 24 million views collectively. All the while the Grape Lady clip was going viral in 2006 and 2007, the actual Grape Lady herself, Melissa Sander, had remained completely silent about the video. While most people who watched the clip could have cared less about who the falling woman was, there certainly were some interested in finding out who the woman was, what her name was, and wanted to get an update from her or perhaps an interview. And for those invested in the Grape Lady who were trying to dig up some information about her, it's pretty much been fruitless ever since this clip came up on the internet. Pun completely intended. While her name was discovered as Melissa Sander just by looking at previous employees of the Fox 5 news station, outside of that there's really not much known about the woman. For a while there was this quote floating around that people were saying was from the grape lady herself, and I'll read the quote. Am I embarrassed that I fell? Of course. I also broke a couple of ribs. Thanks for asking. I had to spend a few weeks in the hospital under observation. I suffered quite a bit for an honest mistake, a momentary lapse in concentration, and now I'm trying to move on. This quote is plastered around the internet whenever you look up for information about the Grape Lady. It's even listed under the Know Your Meme article, but this isn't actually a quote from the Grape Lady. This is a quote from a mock interview that was created by a guy named Greg Thompson for the now defunct website FunnyCray.com. This thing isn't legit at all, it was just a joke. Astonishingly to this day, Melissa Sander, aka the Grape Lady, has eluded the internet's efforts of tracking her down. As for what she's doing, we really don't know. I feel like it's unlikely that she's still a news reporter or weather broadcaster because surely somebody would have recognized her if she was on local TV. The last piece of legit information that we have about the Grape Lady comes from her cameraman Gus Valdez in an interview from 2008, and he only briefly speaks about the situation. Quote, she ended up with some bruised ribs and a bruised ego. But pretty much that's what we know about the Grape Lady. She is materialized into the ether of internet meme celebrities and not much is really known about her. Before I get out of here today, guys, I gotta give a major shout out to the folks over at the Ridge Wallet for sending me this bad boy. Check it out. It just looks clean, man. It's so clean that I just completely trashed 
my old leather wallet like what's the point ridge wallets come in several different types of colors and metals i got the burnt titanium right here these things are super sleek and super slim you don't have to worry about a giant leather wallet stabbing at your butt cheek while it's in your back pocket this thing goes in the front pocket. So thanks to the people over at Ridge Wallet, I'm able to give you guys a 10% off link in the description box there. That's www.ridgewallet.com slash wavy and use code wavy when you're at the shop. So click that thing right now to get 10% off and free worldwide shipping. See you on the next video. Major shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys. Wavy Web Surf out. Peace.